Hi guys! When I started my journey with Unity, I used Visual Studio as my main code editor. But it turned out that uh, it, is, it was terrible slow. Mm, it hung so over and over the time. So um, I decided to, to change the editor to Visual Studio Code, which is much faster. But uh, it doesn't work um, with Unity just out of the box. So uh, in the following video, I'm gonna show you uh, how you can set up uh, Visual Studio Code and Unity to work together. And at the end, I will also show you uh, how you can uh, debug your code using Visual Studio Code. So uh, let's start. Uh, what you can see is my uh, sample application. And there is a ball uh, on the screen with uh, attached, and, and there is also a ball script uh, attached to, to the ball. Uh, when I press uh, the key X, uh, the ball is uh, rolling to a random direction. That's our uh, sample application. Uh, what we want to do now is uh, we want to set up Visual Studio Code as a default code uh, editor for the project. Uh, to do this, just open Edit menu and go to Preferences. Then choose External Tools uh, on the left and just choose Visual Studio Code as your external script editor. Now, when you open the, um, some script, for example, in my case, a ball script, the visual code uh, started. Uh, now, what we want to do is uh, we have to install some extensions to our Visual Studio Code. To do this, just go to Extensions tab here and search for C Sharp extension at first and just install it. In my case, I have already installed installed the, the extension. The second extension you need is Unity Debugger. Okay, so uh, you can also install it. Now, when you install both of them, you are ready to debug your code. So let's go back to our c -sharp script. And for example, let's suppose that we want to uh, debug the code when we press the X key. So, uh, so let's um, at first let's run a debugger. Let's configure and run the debugger here. So just just go to run and debugger tab. Okay. Sometimes it, it may doesn't work. So uh, you can just close uh, Visual Studio Code and run it again. And now it should work. Okay, so open Run and Debug. And then click Create a Launch JSON file. Uh, you have to do this only uh, on the first time. When you click it, you have to select environment. So please choose uh, Unity Debugger from here. As you can see, the launch JSON file was created. So now you are ready to go back to Ball uh, C Sharp script. And you can also add a breakpoint here, for example. And 
what they need to do is just to run the debugger. Debugger started. So let's go to the Unity. Let's run the game. And when I press X key, the uh, as you can see, the breakpoint was uh, was catched here. So now I'm ready to debug my code. Uh, what I can do is, for example, uh, I can continue uh, the code, which um, which allows me to to run. Uh, the go to the next breakpoint. Okay, so I don't have another breakpoint. So, uh, as you can see, the ball uh, was moved. So let's press X key one more time. So uh, yes. Uh, so for example, uh, now let's go to raw method. And let's uh, add some breakpoint here. Okay. Um, now when I press X key, the first breakpoint was was uh, handled. Then when I press continue, the second breakpoint was handled. Um, okay, what we can do is, for example, we can uh, watch some um, some variables. Uh, for example, I would like to see the value of this target. So let's uh, let's select it and uh, let's click Add to Watch. As you can see, the value of this uh, target is such kind of vector. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, I hope that uh, I helped you to set up your Unity environment correctly and get rid of uh, this annoying uh, performance issue uh, associated with uh, Visual Studio. So, uh, if you don't want to miss any further videos, you can just to subscribe to my channel. So, uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye!